at being an author. There have been uh, several attempts, it's still ongoing. I'm currently um, writing my second novel, believe it or not. <laughs> but we'll go through the books I've got out at the moment. They're all available on Amazon. Uh, one's available on uh, Blurb as well. But um, mainly on Amazon, because you get, if you've got Kindle Unlimited, you get, the, you get them for nothing really, so... If you're remotely interested in anything that's uh, contained with these books, feel free to have a gander. Okay, the first one I did was uh, 2013 Poetry by Mr. Corbett. Just a short collection of my poems. I did some little videos for them as well, which, which are on YouTube. Uh, I'll put some links down on the thing as well, so you, if you want to have a taste of what they're like. And encouraged by that, I I sort of I actually sold I actually sold one. <laughs> I did another one two years later, which was the Blue Stranger, and other bizarre notions. And this one planted the seed for what was to become my, uh, so far my only novel. Funny enough, titled the Blue Stranger, <laughs> but uh, again another collection of poems, much much larger. I got up to uh, how many pages I get this time? Ooh. 50 pages this one but it's like all very sort of surrealist so I love like Spike Milligan and uh, Roald Dahl and that sort of thing you know and, and you, you're that's the sort of area I sort of my brain sort of works in very silly times and very surreal all sorts in here so that was that one and then uh because when I used to, used to go out playing my music, I used to get some compliments, occasional compliments about my lyrics. So I thought that uh, um, for posterity and, and for my own sort of like look back it on, I do I put some in a book. But uh, I, so I did one book, which covered like the first six years of when I started writing songs again, which is like 2004 to 2010, because I had like quite a few years off. I don't know, playing, playing computer games and stuff like that. Life wasted. Uh, so, three parts. We have that one. Then Limit, the Mr. Corbett years. Because uh, my first few albums were, they're okay. You know, some, I love the songs on them, but some of the singing and that is just like very ropey. Some of the, production and that, you know, I just didn't really know what I was doing, I sort of find my feet and I shouldn't have put it out before I was sort of uh, competent enough, <laughs> but I did. So, but once you get past, like, uh, take it on the chin in 2009, then, um, yeah, it definitely goes up a bit, so I thought, you know, I, I, I had this Mr. Corbett idea in my head, I even wrote a song called Mr. Corb, and I thought, oh, you know, if I was ever going to be in a band, I'd call it Mr. Corbett, and that ended up being me as as a solo Mr. Corbett band. That's the second book. And it's got all the lyrics from the songs that are on the albums out, and also like how I put them together. So if you're remotely interested in how a songwriter works, not a successful songwriter, but a songwriter, any even less, you know. And then uh, I recently put that one out, which is up to 2020, 2017 to 2020, so there's well over like 150 songs or something, something ridiculous like that in these three books, a lot, a lot of songs, that's how I spend my time and I love it, I still, I still love doing it, I never get tired of doing it, I always find little branches to explore off into, anyway, in between the songwriting books, I went back to the poetry and the silliness books. Half price. This is probably my favourite one that I've, I've done. Half price rhyme. Half past rhyme. I can't even speak. I'm very tired. Okay. 
I sort of like really hit my stride with, you know, I put a lot of work into this one. And uh, it's definitely the strongest one I put I put out, I think, I'd say. But again, more pages. We got up to uh, 60 pages this time. <laughs> but uh, all the time I was doing, all the time I was doing, doing the poetry books, I was also working on a novel and it eventually came out last year. It is a very, very silly tale. You have to, you know, you have to really have to park your brain to enjoy it. <laughs> Proper escapism. And that's the Blue Stranger. It's about a land called Corbetton. Took me ages to think of that name. <laughs> but it's a, it's a proper. I think it's funny, you know. I'm biased, but I think it's I think it's funny. You know, it still makes me laugh. And people who've read it have laughed and said it said it said it's a, said it's a decent read. So even if even sometimes, well, even sometimes, you know, people you know are nice to you just to, to say you know they did sound genuine this time, that they did enjoy it. So there you are, Blue Stranger, and. That's my last poetry book for now. Dying Fries Corbidio. Seventy pages. Again, full of like loads and loads of abstract poetry and surrealism and a few few things I can't explain. <laughs> But I'll put the links all down below this ramble, so not that anybody would get this far, but yeah. never mind, never mind. But if you have, then please have a look and let me know what you think. Oh, yes. Probably like that, be yawning. There you are, Mr. Corbett, author. Arthur. Mr. Corbett's an author in his spare time as well as being an. Song a songwriter, song a singer, songwriter. Do the